The Mid Journey team is absolutely spoiling us as of late. In preparation for the launch of Mid Journey 5.3, which I'm checking on the daily when it drops so I can make the most amazing tutorial for you guys, they went ahead and released the Very Region tool. How does this tool work? Well, after you put in a prompt into Mid Journey as you typically do, so in my case, I chose Gorgeous Cocktail Waitress at a Miami nightclub, comma space photorealistic, aspect ratio 16 by 9, I went ahead and I upscaled the image now make sure that you do see this option here very region one way to problem solve if you don't see it is to do forward slash settings as a command and press enter make sure that remix mode is highlighted green if it is not simply click it to turn it green and make sure that you're using the latest model soon this is going to be 5.3 and if after that you're not seeing the very region option just simply x out of discord or log out and then log back in you should definitely see it now how does this tool work well once you upscale an image you're going to select very region now there's two ways that we can use this tool the first is we can select the rectangle tool then we can highlight a specific area Area, and then we can edit the original prompt so over here we're gonna say a computer nerd talking to a gorgeous cocktail waitress at a Miami nightclub and then we're gonna hit submit another way we can use this tool is we can select very region and instead of using this rectangle tool we can actually use the lasso tool the way we do that is we select lasso tool and then we go ahead and we draw around what we wish the space to be so that we're not just confined to a rectangle. Now some tips to point out. Now first of all, when you change the prompt, it will work best if it's a change that's more matched to the image. So for instance, if we were to say here a dolphin on the moon, it's not really going to be a best outcome of in painting. And in painting just means that you can edit an already created image. The other thing I want to mention is that for a best case scenario, you want to select a region that's a large region. So Mid Journey prefers that it's at least 20% to 50% of the image. And here we are achieving just that. In my personal experience, and I've played with this tool a lot, the larger you create your selection, the better result you're gonna have. And remember, if you don't like the result, well, you can just keep doing it over and over. So let's see what the rectangle tool gave us, and then we'll compare it to what the lasso tool gave us so here was the result when we use the rectangle tool and it is doing a really really good job I mean I truly do believe that these computer nerds were in the scene it doesn't seem like they just placed them there or they didn't account for the backdrop this is awesome mid journey is really on its way to being the premier AI photo editing platform and also I would love to be a fly on the wall for this conversation because these nerds probably are saying the wildest pickup line to this cocktail waitress and she doesn't seem like she's impressed so here is yet another example using the rectangle tool and as you can see here all of these computer nerds they are fitting directly into the picture there is nothing odd about it and it's pretty believable now for some the depth isn't quite right for instance over here you can see that he's not really looking at her it seems like he's behind her a little bit but still it is believable and mid journey is just putting this out this is basically a beta version of a tool that they're testing and they just released it but i was very excited and i wanted to show it to you guys so let's now see what the lasso tool provided us which i was able to cover this this area as well rather than just a rectangle and here's the result that we got with the lasso tool so again if you want to be nimble and you have to cover areas which you can't just select with a box or a rectangle the lasso tool is the way to go I love that mid journey keeps improving and keeps staying on its toes even though I already believe it is ahead of the pack and the leader but with companies like Adobe like stable diffusion breathing down its neck it's gonna have to continue to innovate and to create the most polished, the most user-friendly AI tool capabilities out there so that it is the number one choice by people like myself that use it as an entrepreneur to create cover photos or artists that are using AI tools to create AI art. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section what you think of this new tool. If you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe. Please do like the video. Motivate me to keep putting out these AI tutorial content. I want 
to be at the cutting edge forefront of the AI sphere in many different realms. You're going to see a lot of AI tutorials that I drop on this channel, and I'm going to drop them as soon as these AI tools come out, as soon as there's new features in these programs. So with that being said, I appreciate you lots for watching this video in its entirety. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.